Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with my Bath and Body Works empties today. My bin's getting a little full. Not that my bin is that big, but I have like maybe six or seven products in here. So I just wanted to go through them. Um, since all the hand soaps are on the top, I'm going to start by going through the hand soaps. I do believe the first one we finished off was the Winter Candy Apple. Yes, this is probably going to be heavy on the winter products. Um, the notes were Red Apple, Winter Rose Petals, and Candied Oranges. Staple for winter. Always will purchase in the winter time. Like, I totally love it. I think hand soap and... I don't really like it in the body care, which I'll get to, but I think like hand soap and home fragrance and those types of things, I absolutely love it. I think it just got to be a bit much in the body care, which I'll touch on, like I said. I really found this was a favorite this past winter. It is the Frosted Cranberry. I don't know if I've ever had this in the past. The notes are Frosted Cranberry, Red Delicious Apple, and Blonde Wood. I don't recall having it though. I'm pretty sure this is a very regular winter <laughs> scent for them. I don't, and it's not like anything spectacular. I think I just really enjoyed like the cranberry in the winter. Um, I think I had a wallflower in this for sure, maybe two, honestly. I very much enjoyed them and will look for this next winter. And then the last winter soap, I think this is my last winter soap besides like Vanilla Bean Noel, which I'm finishing up. It is the iced cinnamon rolls and the notes are warm cinnamon rolls, fresh orange and sugar glaze. I wasn't sure how this one was going to go over, but I actually loved it. So initially, like when you just smell it right out of the container, it smells like not cloying, but it smells like sugar kind of like I see where they're going with like the cinnamon rolls the sugar glaze that type of thing when you actually were like using the soap it had a little bit more of that orange and it wasn't as much as like sugar as it was like a nice bakery scent with the orange I actually really really enjoyed it um Corey was not a fan so I ended up taking it to work which was totally fine and I used it there um but I'm pretty sure this was new for this winter uh, if they did bring it back though, I would look at repurchasing it. I really enjoyed it. Um, speaking of hand washing, I used up a pocket back in gingerbread latte. I do believe this was in my winter project as well. Let's get into body care. I'm spilling things. So this is the winter candy apple. This is the shower gel. So did... I don't know that I had this in a body lotion. I maybe had one that I used last year. Uh, I do, I think the notes are a little bit expanded from the soap. So this is candy red apple, winter rose petals, candied orange, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. I'm sure it was the same scent. Like it smelled like the same as it does every year. I feel like they mess with the notes a little bit, but I don't feel like the scent has changed year over year. Um, However, I, first of all, the shower gels take me a bit to get through. I have found in my uh, Bath and Body Works project panning, I have just found it just takes me super long to get through the shower gels. And they are two more ounces than the lotion, so I don't know if that's why. But about probably at least halfway, I was just kind of over this. So I don't know if just using it for years and years and years in home fragrance having it officially like in a shower gel and like as the body care just like didn't mix well for me I don't know what the deal was but I just kind of stopped enjoying it and I mostly used it up in like January and February I'm pretty sure so I don't know if I was just like too far past the season where I was like I'm over it I want something else um, maybe like if it would have been December would I have felt different I'm not sure but yeah that was just kind of my thought it's just such a staple and I feel like that's why I got it but I have so much shower gel like I don't know that I need to repurchase it if it's not like blowing my socks off so um another lotion well I guess the only lotion is snowflakes and cashmere so this is from 2019 into 2020 winter I got this at that SAS uh, the notes on this are cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. This is such a good scent. I feel like nobody talks about this scent because it's just so generic, but it's so good. So I do believe I used up half of this like a win two winters ago, and then this past winter I like finished it up in my project. 
so good. I absolutely love this scent. I don't enjoy the fact that this is like a frosted bottle. I mean, it looks nice, but the Project Panera in me wants a clear bottle to see. So I had to use my good flashlight for this, but I definitely recommend this. I mean, if you like more strong in your face scents, maybe you wouldn't go for this, but this is just like a very, it's almost like a basic vanilla, but it has a little bit extra. It says frosted clementine, which I feel like once I read those notes and found out that was in there, I feel like I could pick it out. But before that, I felt like it was just like a generic vanilla. So I feel like if you're into those scents, you would really like this. And you can usually find this at an SAS because I feel like people don't really gravitate toward it, so they have extras. Speaking of that same scent and a big accomplishment, I finished up the Fine Fragrance Mist as well. This is always a very good feat. Um, you can see the markings on the back. So this is the same notes. I bought these. I'm pretty sure I bought this at like a lotion sale, you know, back when they used to do sales all the time before COVID. And then I picked this up during the following like SAS when they were on deep discount. I'm pretty sure I only paid like $2 for this. They were like mega clearing these out when I bought it. Um, and I knew that I had the lotion and I really liked it. So I picked it up. Um, same thing. It's a, it's a very good, uh, just like generic vanilla scent. I feel like you get a little bit more of that, um, clementine and clementine and almost a little bit more of that, like woods, like not muskiness, but making it more of the perfume esque type of smell in the spray than in the lotion but I really, really enjoyed it. And it goes with everything. Like this was really, really easy to use up because I think I switched to Vanilla Bean Noel for the lotion and this easily paired with Vanilla Bean Noel. So I really, really like this one. I'm glad I finished another fragrance mist. And then another huge accomplishment. This is my last one. I finished up my pink warm and cozy. You guys, <laughs> I was working on this nonstop. At first I was using this just as like a regular spray but if you guys know what warm and cozy smells like, it's like, it says warm and comforting is like the, what it says. And it says soft vanilla and couch surfing, <laughs> whatever that means. Yeah, that's literally all it says. So it's like a vanilla, but it has like a warmth to it. And it's like oh, perfumey as well. So it's very like nighttime, relaxing type of appropriate scent. So I really was like trying to use it as you can see and I was very much struggling. So what I ended up doing, if you guys don't watch my project use it apps, I ended up using it as like a refresh for the sheets. So I would kind of just like spray in between them to just freshen them up. You know how your bed can start to smell just people sleeping there obviously, like it just starts to get that smell so i would just like spray it in between the sheets at the top of the day it has all day it would like air out they weren't like wet or anything i would just mist them and then by the end of the day they felt like fresh and nice still and it was wonderful and it really really i think i started doing it maybe like here or so like you can tell i started really making some progress on this uh the only problem was i really was forgetting to use this but i finally powered through um, if you have this and aren't sure how to use it, I would highly recommend doing that. If you're like not a person who sprays and like goes out at night or sprays while you're at home, that is the way I use this up because some people are like, oh, I'll like spray this if I like go over to my boyfriend's house to watch a movie or stuff like that. And I'm like, once I'm home for the night, we generally don't leave. And if we do, I'm not thinking like, oh, I'm going to spray warm and cozy. Like that's the last thing on my mind. So I didn't really go that route. I did the like bed refresh. So just my suggestion to you all. So that is it. My bin is officially empty. I will start recollecting items. Um, I just finished this one off today. So it may be a bit before I collect some more items but I know we're working through a couple hand soaps and I actually am close on some body care items. So I feel like I've gotten into a good rhythm of using up these products. So maybe it won't be too long before my next update. But yeah, that is all I have for my empties for my Bath and Body Works products. Let me know what you guys are finishing down below. I'd love to hear and that's all I have. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.